Monday. It's your house. We call it Our House Mondays, where gig workers meet. Could be an Uber gig worker, Lyft gig worker, Postmates, uh, Dasher, Amazon driver, whoever you are. You're welcome here, and you can express uh, your thoughts, your suggestions, your feelings. You can share whatever you want with me um, on Our House Monday. So I welcome you all. Um, it's not going to be a very, very long video today, probably around 20, 25 minutes at max. Got a full, full schedule. I will be making several dark road runs in the house. Sending my regards to San Fran. How are you, brother? Matt Killian's in the house, Florida, representing Florida. Good to see you. Right. So I welcome you all. Please feel free to share a company that I've been doing a lot of uh, research on, and I'm going to be making at least three or four videos. Um, that is, I'm going to put it over here, Kova or Cover.ai. Do me a huge favor. Go and check them out. Um, I have spoken to the executive executives of this company, and they are rolling out a phenomenal program for gig workers. Um, over 10,000 people have already joined just since they opened up. They got, uh, they got great funding um, in their first round, and they are steaming ahead. And what I like about the company is that they've put a lot of thought into covering all the bases, all the things that could possibly go wrong in the gig worker world, right? They have plugged those holes. You know, people who need sick leave, right? It's like all these unforeseens, right? They're there for you. 24-7 health service, they are there for you. The big one that I like, legal protection, right? Now, you get deactivated as an Uber or Lyft driver or Instacart, whoever you are, for whatever reason, and you know you're in the right, you know they're in the wrong, right? And cover or cover, um, I'm not sure um, how it's pronounced correctly. I, I like the name, the play on cover with a K, but let's just call it cover, uh, .ai, go to their website. They send out a legal letter they send out a legal letter to the company and say, hang on, why did you deactivate this guy or this girl? Put them back on. So they've got your back. They're protecting you. It's like an insurance, right? And they are closing all those unforeseens, right? You could have an accident, right? You could have an accident. You're off the platform. You're not making money. They jump in. So I will go through all the coverages that this insurance, and it starts out at about $7 per month, um, big, big hype around it. Many YouTubers are reporting on it. We've got the Muay Thai ref in the house. We've got Garcia Bui in the house. We've got Abstract Echo Jimmy in the house. Rick Nelson, Slick Nick. Have you guys heard of Cova.ai? And um, I'm going to be making a separate video and going into a lot of great detail and lengths. But, you know, income guarantee. Um, they'll make sure that your income continues, that you get your sick leave that you have 24 seven health coverage. They assist you with the taxes. They assist you with legal help. They assist you with bookkeeping. Um, you get paid time off when you need it. Are you in a collision, right? Um, they jump in and help. Are you hospitalized? Did you break any bones or anything during that crash when you were on Uber or Lyft? They jump in. Did you, as I said, did you have any issues with deactivation? Cova.ai jumps in, and so, so many more services out there. Telehealth, legal defense, tax deduction, you name it. So go to the link, check them out. Um, well worth the money. Starting point at about seven bucks. These guys have your back. And that is all the gig workers. Just look at all the logos. It's very easy to sign up, very easy to enroll, and then you protect it. Because we really need insurance from all of those unknowns. And these guys have put in the work, the time, the effort, and said, okay, what can go wrong in the gig worker world? Where do we need to help gig workers, right? So that's that. But this is just a little introduction to Cova.ai. I'm going to be making a whole series of videos for them. 
Tris is in the house. Very good morning. Um, over to some more sad news. You know, um, this was an accident that ended up in a fatality. A Houston driver, we pray for his family. Rest in peace, dear driver. He was in the wrong place at the wrong time, right? And sadly, this ended up in a death. His car was completely totaled, smashed into the back by a police car, and um, the poor person died because the police officer was giving chase, right, um, to um, a 17-year-old that was trying to get away, you know. Uh, this is the police officer's car here. Now, had this been, for example, a driver who'd been injured in this type of accident, sadly, the person died, but had he been injured, Cova.ai would have jumped in and helped out, right? Just, just giving this as an example. Then in the news as well, Scott Tucker's in the house, welcome you. Um, the house finally passes Sammy's Law, named after the woman killed by a fake Uber driver. You remember that story? Where was it? I think it was in the Carolinas, right? Under the law, which now heads to the Senate, Uber and Lyft would have to adhere to new safety guidelines. Safety, safety, safety is numero uno, number one. Your health, your safety comes first. Without the health, without the safety, I mean, what's the job even worth, right? I mean, are you going to go and subject yourself uh, to uh, harmful conditions, you know, COVID conditions, driving conditions, rapes, murders, etc. cetera. Um, so very happy that Sammy's law finally, finally passed. I'm going to make another video on this and um, really sad story that Samantha Josephson had to lose her life. Yes, she was in South Carolina. We know the story. It's been well circulated throughout social media. But finally, finally, the House passes Sammy's law, right? Now, um, another, another little um, story that I cover uh, earlier on, uh, this Uber Eats driver, I mean, caught on camera, all the evidence in the world, munching away, eating the client's buffalo wings, uh, check out my video. I made a long video about this man. What this fool right in front of the house? He start, he starts to eat the clients, the customers' food, and um, boom, gets busted. It's all there on camera. Check out my video. What happened to the dude? What type of changes Uber implemented after this video? You know, at least something um, good came about it. Now, just imagine this story, my friends. You. Um, get a $10 tip. William Connor, thank you, my friend. Ha ha, I said, I saw the video. How, how embarrassing is that, William? Get busted. I mean, you start, you're so hungry and it smells so good and you start eating it right in front of the house. You know the guy might come out every second. You might, you know that the guy is looking out the window, right, William? How embarrassing. He gets busted in the act. And then the client still says, well, did you eat my, I mean, there's barbecue sauce all over my, um, my, my, my plastic bag, did you eat my food? Because there should be 15 wings. There's only, let's say, 10 or 11 wings. How embarrassing is that? And thank you, William Connor, for the contribution. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Now, good for this driver. Good for this driver. Forsyth County Uber driver wins $200,000 from a scratch off he bought with a $10 tip. You know those scratch cards, right? Um, I don't really have luck with those, but maybe I should go and play. Maybe I could win 200 grand. The guy gets a $10 tip and turns that into 200 grand. I am so happy for this driver. I mean, that news just made my day. Louisville, North Carolina, after a long day of driving, Keith Wishon of Louisville, congratulations, brother, used a $10 tip to buy a $200 triple pay ticket and won the top prize. Love it, love it, love it. Doesn't get better than that. Um, after getting off work as an Uber Eats driver, Wish and stopped to fill up his car at Four Brothers on Shallowford Road in Louisville to get ready for the next day. He used his $10 tip to buy a 
few scratch off tickets and then headed to the home he shares with his 93 year old mother. I live with her and take care of her. Bless him. Bless the guy. And um, when he scratched off his winning ticket, he couldn't believe his good fortune. I had to sit down. My legs got so weak. I bet. I mean, oh my God, I just hit the big one. He carried the lucky ticket to the next room where his brother was sitting and then showed his mom. We were kind of all in shock. We had nothing to say. We couldn't believe it. We kept looking at the ticket, checking it and checking it and checking it. I would have done the same. I mean, you're like, is this true? Is this true? Can this be true? Oh my God, I just won $200,000. And after federal and state tax withholdings, he takes home $141,501, meaning um, $58,499, just did the math, $58,499 goes back to the state for tax. It's a lot of money. But still, he's got $141,000 in his pocket. How cool is that? So, hey, you might want to turn your $10 tip or your $20 tip, you know, into $200,000. Um, another topic that I will be making a video on, ladies and gentlemen, please feel free, uh, free to share your comments in the, in the room. Um, do... Uber and Lyft allow drivers to carry weapons while driving. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a hot topic. I mean, you got the people pro, you got the people against this. Um, I'm going to be doing a long, long video about this. Um, Daniel Perry, the rideshare driver and active duty Ford Hood soldier whose attorney said shot and killed Garrett Foster on July 25th was carrying a gun while out on fares. The legality of simply having a concealed weapon isn't in question, police said. Perry had a permit to carry a concealed weapon. And while it's not clear what rideshare company Perry drove for, the two largest that operate in Austin have policies that don't allow the driver to have them. So I want to see how that plays out. Um, Slick Nick says, I have a federal tax refund on the way. It's a big one. Nice. Very, very happy for you. So I'll, make, I'll be making a video on this. Um, another story, and these are just stories that have sort of happened in the last 24 hours. Uh, this one goes into uh, goes to New York, right? Uh, Uber slams into Harlem building during hit and run chase. Check out his car. Sort of lodged between the building and a car. Look at that. How on earth did he manage to get in there, right? Um, Uber was on Manhattan Avenue near West 115th Street at about 12.30 p.m. when it was struck by a speeding Honda Odyssey being chased by a maroon Hyundai with Connecticut plates. An Uber driver was sent hurtling into a Harlem building Thursday after the app-based cabbie and his passenger unwittingly ended up in the middle of a hit and run. Again, this just happened in the last 24 hours. In this incident, Kova.ai would have jumped in and carried the driver. Thank God this person survived. The other person in Houston, Texas did not survive, right? So two horrific accidents back to back. One ends in a fatality. The other one gets badly hurt, right? Both involve sort of hit and run car chases. Crazy stuff, what the universe is dishing out. After being hit, Sanwidi lost control of his vehicle, which vaulted the curb and hit a nearby building. The force of the impact was so great that the sedan's airbags deployed. Um, he hit him with such force that it jammed him in between a Jeep and the wall, right? And had that person just been paying the basic on Kova.ai, you know, he could have submitted, he, maybe he was taken to hospital, he would have been covered and he would have definitely been covered for the loss of earnings while his car is down, plus the insurance on his vehicle. So it's a no-brainer, my friends. It's an absolute no-brainer. Check out the website. Now, on to another story. I'm getting very little stories are being shared in the room. We've got 23 people in the room. We have eight likes. Pump up those likes. Um, this is the one 
that I reported on in Houston where the guy um, lost his life. Um, this particular story here to all those Amazon drivers, to all those Amazon shoppers that are on Prime, right? I don't know if you're one of them, but I use Amazon a lot to get fast delivery with Prime. Um, you know, these are also gig workers, the drivers that work for Amazon or the packers, etc. cetera. Um, Walmart Plus is rolling out its launch date price and how it compares to Amazon Prime. So they want to cut into Jeff Bezos's marking, market. We're still waiting on the Walmart Plus launch date. Here's what you need to know about its same day deliveries. Check out these fancy trucks that they have. I believe that's, that's the Tesla trucks that they ordered. Uh, a Walmart Plus launch date in August seems likely as America's largest retailer is teasing a coming soon landing page for its new money saving subscription service. Apparently, um, the Walmart Plus price may be a bargain at about $98 a year, right, for this service, according to reports, although the same news story is pegged July as the launch month, um, and that didn't happen. Whenever it does arrive, Walmart is poised to have the first truly competitive service to Amazon. Here's what we know about Walmart's Plus so far. Um, again, launch date, they say could be August. Price point, $98 per year. Um, they should give um, Amazon a good run for the money. Love and Light says, to drivers applying for EIDL, please do not send a Google Drive PDF of proof of 2019 tax income. Their computer programs cannot open it, and you will be denied if you do not reply in time. Sensitive manner, then going into reconsideration process. Good, good, very, very good feedback. Very important feedback. Um, so follow that, follow those instructions. That's very, very valuable news there. Thank you for that input. And hopefully, um, you know, you didn't run into that same situation or you don't do it, right? And you don't run into that same problem as Love Light did. So good. Thank you for sharing. Now, another, um, another story, uh, a video that I made, and uh, please do check it out at um, 5 p.m. Um, I did make a video on what I think is the way to make the big bucks with Uber and Lyft, my formula. I share it openly at 5 p.m., right? So 5 p.m. Um, early time. I will be pushing out a video on this channel. Um, I will be doing um, sort of a comparison between this Mercedes-Benz S550 and this Prius. Both of them were in accidents. Both of them appear at the auction on 818. But I share my formula very openly, right? And I will be there on 818, and I welcome anyone to bid against me. And I hope you get the car. I would be happy for you. But I do share my formula how you make the big money in this category and this category. If you were to go to the auction and commit to one or both cars, hopefully I get both, right? I will show you in that 5 p.m. video how you really, really make the big money with Uber and Lyft versus driving around in a hamster wheel, um, you know, grinding miles, not getting good pay per mile. So there's, there's easier ways to make money with Uber and Lyft, and I share that at 5 p.m. We have 10 likes. Um, I'm going to go for another three minutes, and then I've got to hit the road. I have private clients, Hidden Hills, um, Hidden Hills all the way over to LAX. And I've got to tell you a little story about the clients that, I, that I'm picking up at 2 p.m. in 40-something minutes, right? On the weekend, they te 
texted me and asked me and asked many of their friends for their input. And they have a lot that they bought. Jennifer's in the house. Good to see you. Jennifer Donatella, thank you. Welcome. Um, so they have a lot in Hidden Hills that they bought right next to Jessica Simpson's house. They bought the lot for $4.5 million, just the, the, the bare land. They built a house for $5.5 million on that lot. Took them two years. I was following the progress. Went there many times with them to look at the progress. They are friends and clients of mine. So they were all in for $10 million, just under $10 million, about $9.8 million. They bought the land, built the house. They've done this formula throughout the country in Connecticut and other areas, Malibu, Calabasas. They know what they're doing. Um, buy land, build homes, high-end homes, luxury homes, and then sell them. So this particular house, I've got to tell you the story because it's funny. Um, my client said, you know, we're not selling this one. This is, this is our dream home. We've built up another ho enough houses. We've made a lot of money. And this one we're not selling. Well, guess what? On Saturday afternoon, uh, a car shows up with an NBA player and an agent and makes an offer for $19 million cash. $19 million. That means instantly they would have made $9 million had they taken that offer. So he phoned a lot of his friends. And the outcome was rather interesting. Everyone said, hey, there's not many people making money during the pandemic. Go for it. When he asked me, should he go for it? Just another friend's input. Absolutely. I said, you can always go out there and build another dream home. But to make $9 million on top of your $10 million all day long, sell it. Right. So I'll find out this week if they sign the papers. Um, Slick Nick says, this week I'm helping the director of an upcoming film project. I'm on with location scouting. Our shooting schedule was halted due to COVID. Yeah, that industry, by the way, definitely a first-hand in information from actors, from people that supply food to the film industry. It's opening up. They are sorting out all the legals in and out, all the legal ways to get that industry back on its feet. So movie shooting is going to happen soon. Obviously, you're out there already as a scout making money. Good for you. Very, very happy for you. But um, guys, I got to rock and roll. I got to hit the road. Um, I wish you a happy Monday um, in our house Mondays. Uh, if more people come into the room, please do share your stories, um, your successes, your ideas, your suggestions on this Monday. Have yourself an amazing week, a blessed week. Please Stay safe. Um, do yourself a huge favor. Go over to the website that I shared right in the beginning, cova.ai. I will be making several videos about it. Um, and uh, I will be talking about all the benefits. This is a company specifically set up for gig workers. And it's very affordable, starting at $7 a month. Um, so... Please, yeah, come into the room, Our House Mondays. Uh, many of the stories that I just touched on, I will be making full long videos about and, and populating them in this channel and the other channels. So I'll break down those stories and give you more information. Um, I already made a story about the Uber Eats guy who ate the guy's chicken wings. I made a story about the Houston driver who lost his life uh, during that police chase. And I will have several other videos coming out within the next 24 hours. Love and Light says, send in your proof of income to boost your $167 to go up for EDD retroactive pay. As always, we appreciate that type of info. Abstract Echo says, that's good. Info, Love and Life, thank you. Yes, thank you very much for sharing that. Tris says, good to know. Thanks for that update. Uh, short and sweet, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to jump straight in the car. Off I go. Change my shirt quickly and um, get over to my clients and make sure that they get on that flight. Good God. Bless everyone. Omar Garverette just walked in. What's up, buddy? Hey, by any chance, do you know what about what anything about TaskRabbit? Yeah, TaskRabbit, um, you got to check it out. Fantastic platform. They put out all these doable tasks, right? Whether it's maybe taking the dog for a walk, um, 
picking up stuff um, across town. People put these tasks on. The bottom line is that the, in general, the little tasks pay way more than the average per hour. So it's a great, great website, I can tell you that. It really has got great write-ups. And there are tons of little gigs that you can do on TaskRabbit. Some, you know, may be out of your control, may need more expertise, maybe fixing pipes or, you know, a clogged toilet or something like that. But there is such a wide range of different tasks on TaskRabbit. And I tell you, in general, they, they pay way more than the average of about $15 per hour. Some of those jobs you can get done in an hour, get $25, $30, $50. Sometimes people will say, hey, $100, and you get the job done in 20 minutes. So check it out. It's a great little way to earn extra money. I would, I would encourage any teenager who has a car during summer to follow TaskRabbit, right? Because you could get these little tasks done and make good money, way more money than maybe waitering out there or um, working at an in and out or, you know, uh, shoveling ice cream or anything of, of, of that nature. By picking and choosing your task on TaskRabbit, good money. And I've heard great, great, great feedback, right? People will ask you to put furniture together, Ikea furniture, to do painting, uh, gardening, trips, parcel deliveries. You will see everything on TaskRabbit. Hope that um, answers your question. Scott Tucker says, put in Nevada. Uh, PUA has not been paid in Nevada yet. Shame on Nevada, right? And hopefully... That lawsuit, just like in New York, where New York now has to pay. They had seven days to pay. So hopefully there's a ruling in Nevada very soon, and they have to pay up. Have a great, great day. I'm really running late, and I got to rock and roll. Have a good one, my friends. Be safe. Thank you.